In this video, I'll show you how to fully set up your Epson XP7100 from the very beginning. I have simply unboxed this printer. I'll show you how to install the ink, the paper, how to connect it to your phone, to scan and also how to print. So let's get started right away. Everything will be explained step by step in a very easy manner. The first thing you need to do is to obviously remove all the blue tape that is on the printer itself. The one over here to remove you need to pull up this top part of the printer and then remove the foam that was inside. Take the power cable, we're going to plug this end of the cable in the back in the power cable port which is right over here on the left side and let's plug the other end in your wall outlet. Now we can go ahead and power on the printer for the first time by pressing on this power button once. Choose the language on the display, this is a touch screen so I'll simply click English. As you saw this panel lift by itself, I didn't do anything. On this next screen they will ask us to install the ink cartridges that came with the printer. So before touching anything on the screen, let me show you how to install them. Let's remove the plastic. On each side of your printer, you're gonna find some gaps. There's one here and there is another one, same place on the other side. We need to lift this top panel. The printer needs to be turned on. And the lid should stay in this position without you holding it. This is where the cartridges will be installed. I'll also show you how to remove them in case you already had some in place. The first one is for the black ink, the biggest of them. Then we have cyan, yellow, magenta and PBK. This is for the smaller black ink cartridge. So let's start with the first one. This is the larger black ink cartridge. Let me just show you compared to the PBK. As you see, this is another black one, but it's much smaller. So first of all, let's remove this protector simply by unclipping it like this. And now the way you need to hold it is like that. Okay. You should be able to read whatever is on the sticker and where it says push. Okay. There's a small circle with push. It should be towards you, not towards the printer. Take your ink cartridge, bring it in the appropriate slot like that. And now simply press push until it clicks in place. You need to hear that click. Let's do the same for the cyan. So I'll go ahead, remove this, simply glide it in place and then push. It's quite easy. For the yellow one, same thing. Oops, it should be like that and push magenta. And finally the PBK in cartridge. Here we go. Now in the future, if you want to replace one of these, you see there is some blue retainer clips over here. All you have to do is to push on that clip. So let's say I want to remove the magenta. I push so it unclips and then I just have to lift it away. Bring the new ink cartridge, put it in place, push and you're ready to print. To close the lid, you just have to lower it slowly. Don't need to slam it. Press installed. First step, go on the screen of your printer and on the main menu page, okay, this is the home page, click output tray right over here. This will lift the, uh, the panel, the control panel, and then you'll be able to glide your fingers over here and pull the paper tray. This paper tray can take up to legal size paper. In this video, I'll simply put some A4 US letter size paper. Align your sheet of paper 
you're going to notice there is a blue guide over here that you can move up and down. To know where to stop this blue guide, you have some inscriptions over here. If you want to load letter size like I think 99% of the people, you're going to see LTR being written right over here. You need to bring it until uh, the small arrow of this guide is showing right beside LTR. If you want to load legal size paper, in that case we need to extend this drawer because it's not big right now. So to extend it, you're going to press over here and you're going to pull on the drawer. And as you see now, it's, it's larger, it's, I mean, longer. And you'll be able to install your legal size paper. But let me make it smaller because we don't need that. So let me simply drop my stack of paper over here. Just like that. This blue guide moves as well if you're printing on envelopes or smaller paper. There's also a second paper tray. I mean, it's paper tray number one. This is paper tray number two. This is if you want to print on small four by six picture paper, um, five by seven, it says over here, 3.5 by five, you know, everything that is smaller or on envelopes. This printer also comes included in the box with one of these trays that you'll be able to print on CDs or DVDs. And as it says over here, you'll be able to insert it with the DVD right there inside. Um, I won't show you in this video how it's done, but yeah, at least you know it's possible. So the paper goes over here, glide it there. Okay, perfect with this blue guide. And now simply put back the tray and close it. On the display over here, you'll have to confirm what kind of paper you have input. So the print printer knows. In my case, it's not A4. It's actually US letter size, which is this one. And then paper type, it's plain paper. So I'll leave it like this. If you're going to insert, for example, uh, glossy paper, you absolutely need to put glossy. If you don't do this, the printer will create a mess. Uh, since when it's printing on glossy paper, it's a different technique that it will use. Anyway, once you're done over here, you can simply uh, press close, close, and this is about it. The first step is to connect your printer to the same Wi-Fi network as your iPhone. And to do so, we need to go on the screen over here. So let me show you this. Step number one is to press on this icon on the top, right over here. This is the Wi-Fi icons. So I'll go ahead and tap on these. You need to select Wi-Fi recommended, which is the first option. So tap over here. Select Start Setup. Then we need to select Wi-Fi Setup Wizard, the first one. It has scanned for all the Wi-Fi networks around and has found these. You can drag up and down and search for your specific Wi-Fi network. Tap on it. Tap on Enter over here. And now you have to type the password of that Wi-Fi network. Press OK. Then start setup. Wi-Fi wi setup is complete. This is great. Your printer is now connected. On your iPhone or Android smartphone, you need to download the Epson iPrint app. It's this specific app. I know there's multiple of them. Don't, don't download the Epson panel app, smart panel app. This printer only works with Epson iPrint. Open the app. Press Agree, press OK, press Allow while using the app, press Allow. On the top over here, you're going to have Printer. Printer is not selected. Tap to add a printer. Select Allow. And your XP7100 series printer will be on the display. Click on it and it will be added to the app. It's very easy, as you saw, it takes less than a minute, which is great. 
So from this app, you'll be able to print photos, print documents, scan, and do other stuff that I think most people will not use the other stuff. Let me show you how to print. So in this case, I will print, I will print a document. So I'll press print document, but if it was a picture, select the other option. Next, select your document from the list. Before pressing the print button, I suggest you click on the cogwheel on the top right corner. Make sure that all these settings are actually, uh, they make sense with whatever you're trying to print, which means how many copies do you want? The paper size that you have input already in your printer. The media type. So if you're printing on glossy paper, you need to input this here and other things that you can change. Once you're ready, simply press the print button. Make sure you have paper inserted in your uh, printer. Don't touch anything. This will come out by itself. It has a small motor pushing this tray. And here we go. The print is out. Now let me show you how to use the scanner. So this printer has two different scanners. An automatic document feeder that can take off to 20 different pages at the same time and a regular scan bed like this one. I'll show you how both of them are working. So if you want to input paper in this normal scanner over here, take your page, place it facing down, and you're gonna notice on this corner of the scanner, there's an arrow, which means that we need to bring the corner of the paper so it touches the corner with an arrow, just like this. Now you know that your paper is properly aligned. If you intend to use the automatic document feeder that is on the top of the scanner, of the printer, sorry, you need first to lift this lid completely. Take your document, again, could be 20 different pages that you wish to scan. Place it facing up with the top part of your document towards the left side. And you just have to glide it over here. You're gonna hear a beep and this is just the scanner telling you that it has recognized that you have input something here. Now on the app itself, you're gonna select scan. You're gonna select the cogwheel on the top right corner. Make sure that the source over here is the correct one. So ADF stands for automatic document feeder where I have input paper right now. But if you're using the scanner glass, you can select document table. This is how they call it here. Anyway, you have other options down below, including resolutions, and this is quite important. So if you're scanning text, you can leave it at 150 DPI. It's plenty enough. But if you're scanning artwork, including paintings or pictures with very fine details, I suggest you choose the highest number. Anyway, once you're done, you also have over here option to uh, double sided scanning. So imagine this page had text on the other side. Well, you can scan both sides automatically, which is great. I don't have this, so I'll keep it to no. At the end, press done and press scan. The printer will take automatically the page and it will come out over here. So this is the result and if you want to save, because right now this is not saved, it's not on your phone, it's just a preview, you need to click on the save button which is this floppy disk over here. Once you click on it, um, you need to tap on select folder. You'll be able to edit the name of this scan, choose which format you wish uh, the scan to be and then you're gonna press the select button. You'll be able to choose, okay, if you go back over here, in which folder on your phone this will go. So the first step is to connect uh, the USB drive on the lower left side of the printer. What I will show you in this video also works if you have an SD card. If you have that card, well, you can connect it over here. It's absolutely the same thing. Okay. As you see over here, once I have connected the USB, the screen will change on the printer and I'll be able to select print photos, scan to save memory device or various print. This is great, but let's say you want to keep your USB drive connected and 
print in the future. You don't necessarily want to do anything right now. You can simply have access to these features from the main menu of your printer. So if you want to print something from your USB drive, you're going to select print photos, then print. OK. And now these pictures are the ones from my USB drive. And if in the future you want to scan something and get the results over here, if you select scan, you'll be able to select memory device. OK, so let me print from the USB drive. I'll select print photo here, then print. OK, it has selected all my five pictures that are on my uh, USB drive. Let's say I want this one. I'll select it, print settings. I'll make sure these settings make sense with whatever I'm trying to print. OK, I'll select my paper type over here. It's not glossy. It's a simple plain paper. So I'll select plain paper and then select review and print. Print. And here we go. I have my print. Now to scan, let's uh, let me show you how it works. So I'll open the scan lid of this printer. I'll put the page I want to scan over here. Make sure that the corner of the page is aligned with the corner that has the arrow over here. OK, both should be touching. Close the scan glass. Over here on the display, once you open the scan, you can click scan or you can click uh, the scan option directly from the main menu of your printer and then select memory device. These are a few options of your scan. So uh, black and white, JPEG, color, PDF, whatever, and press save. It will scan and it will go directly on your USB drive or SD card. So there's many different places where you can check. So first thing you can try is to, well, slide your finger over here and extend this paper input. Remove it completely, OK? If you pull it completely, it goes, com it, it goes out this way. Now check under the printer over here to see if there's any stock debris, any stock paper. You can even, even put the printer on its backside because this will give you access to those rollers. Sometimes paper gets stuck. These rollers are not able to grip the paper properly. And uh, yeah, this is one of the places you can check. Additionally, you can also pull the second input tray. And now you're going to have an even better look if you didn't find any paper stock over there. This was the first place where you can check. I'll also show you another one. The next place you can check is on the back of the printer. Pinch these two gray clips. And now you'll be able to remove this part. And again, you, get, you may have some paper stuck in these rollers because these are supposed to grab the paper. Sometimes they don't grab it properly. And yeah, if you find something, simply remove it with your fingers or a pair of tweezers. Additionally, now you have a better look inside of the printer. So check over here again for any stuck paper debris. Finally, if nothing was wrong in th these two different places, there is one last place you can check. Open the top lid of your printer simply by putting your finger over here and lift this up. And now again, you're going to have a pretty good view inside of the internals of this printer. If this carriage all right, the carriage with the ink cartridges is not able to slide properly. It will give you that paper jam error. There's a good chance that some paper is stuck over here or under this carriage. So check it out. Take some tweezers, remove it. And once you're done doing this, what I suggest is that you go on the back of the printer and you unplug the power cable. Remove it completely. Wait two minutes plug it back and the error should go away by itself after you uh, press the power button on the printer. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.